pretty badass on here, right? Hell yeah! <laughs> Welcome back to Goldberg's Garage today with an eight speed automatic transmission, 980 brake wheel horsepower. We have the Dodge Challenger Red Eye. <laughs> The uh, vehicle I have over my right shoulder is the 2019 Challenger Red Eye, affectionately known in Goldberg's Garage as the workhorse because anything you ever ask me to do in a high horsepower car, whether it's donuts, whether it's burnout, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Uh, that car has pulled it off. So it's pretty much the go-to. Now, when the Red Eye came out, this was the first triple nickel Red Eye Challenger that was offered. Right when I got the car, I took it to Expel immediately to get it coated, to get it covered uh, and protected. So that started the relationship with myself and Expel. The reason why I purchased the Red Eye is because it's got 90 more horsepower than the stock Hellcat motor. That obviously wasn't enough. So I sent it down to Florida to Gearhead Fabrications, Mario. They installed the Gearhead Fabrication Stage 4 kit. They changed out the injectors, they changed these plugs out, uh, lower dampener and hub, HP tuners, unlocked PCM. It's got 980 wheel horsepower. This car, I guarantee you, is over a 200 mile an hour car. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. It's an automatic compared to the six speed carbon car. So it's a different animal in and of itself. The six speed gives you more personal connection with the car. The automatic is just basically a fire breathing dragon that you point and click. It's an unbelievable car. I love it exponentially. And uh, as it's known as the workhorse, I, I've done just about everything with it, whether it's Dodge commercials, whether it's taking wonderful guests out to Goldberg Garage to give them a little bit of a thrill, whatever it may be, the Challenger Red Eye has a special place in Goldberg's garage. I don't know how much of a Challenger fan you are, but everybody thinks they're all the same. This is a little bit different. As you see from corner to corner, uh, it's uh, <clears throat> wearing its age and issues. No telling what happened. I don't know what I hit there, but it was yellow. Um, thank God for the Expel wrap because it uh, saved the paint. It. But uh, this thing's pretty bad. You hear something? What is that? Yeah. Somebody getting your property? There's two people in the uh, wash bay, and uh, I'm 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 thinking it's like lunchtime, so I bet it's Mark. Get your ass in! What are you do What are you doing, my man? What's up, man? What's up, buddy boy? Is it is it that time? It's that time. Food time. How are y'all? What's up, buddy boy? What's up? Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Yes, sir. What's up, man? How you doing, Mark? Every time I see this guy, I'm like, man, it's vanilla ice from far away. <laughs> well, it's a shorter version of yeah, it. Yeah, it's like a, a fun size. 
So today we got the uh, 2019 Challenger. You've seen it a million times, me driving it up. And uh, you got someone with you, it sounds like. So you. you got a little surprise. What's going on here? Yeah, well, he's a, uh, he's a veteran, a very special one. Yeah. And he's... Uh, what does his name happen to be Shiloh Harris? It is Shiloh Harris. He's excited. He's excited, so... Does he know what's about to happen? He does not. All he knows is that he's gonna help me serve food. Tell us a little bit about Shiloh. Okay, so Shiloh Harris is a U.S. Army veteran. So I believe it was February 9th, uh, 2007. He was involved in an IED explosion. He had about 30 degree burns of about 35% of his body. So it's been uh, a very strenuous and a very difficult uh, road for him. But through the help again with uh, the Purple Heart Project, Goldberg, everybody else, uh, you know, now he's going to be joining Goldberg to be the face of the Purple Heart Project. So yeah, Shiloh has no idea what's going on. Obviously, Mark told him he was coming to Goldberg's garage today and uh, told him we were doing a little bit of, bit of filming. We've got the Challenger uh, Red Eye today, so I'm going to surprise Shiloh. I'm going to take him out for a little bit of a rip in this car, and then I'm going to let him get behind the wheel. So. We do so many things behind the scenes with the Purple Heart Foundation, with the veterans, period. It's nice to be able to put this front and center. So uh, hopefully this is some good content coming up here, boys and girls. Bring them in. You ready? Come on. What up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> what a surprise. Mark said that we were delivering lunch today, and I had no idea it was going to be you. It's good to see you again. Shiloh Jackson. Jackson How you doing, Shiloh? Nice to meet you. How you doing, man? Shiloh, pleasure to meet you. Glad to be here. Dude, I can't thank you enough for coming by. You're thanking me? Absolutely. Goldberg. I'm Shiloh. Like I said, I can't thank you enough for coming by, dude. Um, what, well, we do, Mark, what we do every week is uh, Goldberg's Garage. We specialize uh, in kind of accentuating a cool car every week. Today, we've got the 2019 Challenger Red Eye. I hope you guys are hungry. Actually, I hope they're not. That's the Goldberger. Look at this. Good God almighty. Well, boys, time to dig in. Oh yeah, there you go. That is so good. So fantastic. My mouth isn't that big though. I got a nibble at it. My mouth's that big. Wow. Well, as always, dude, your food is unsurpassed, and we cannot thank you enough for being the official food of Goldberg's Garage. So, we're going to take a little ride, man. We ready? Yeah. So here's the deal. This thing's 797 out of the chute, but I sent it to my buddies down in Florida, Gearhead Fabrications, and they went berserk with it. They put like a stage four Gearhead Fabrications kit on it. Yeah. Uh, I ported supercharger, catch can, new injectors, new plugs. The car is absolutely a freaking beast. Well, you can kind of see that. Here, let's do one a little more. Uh -huh. How about that? Yeah, 
go take, take it on the road a little bit. I gotta be kind of careful around I'll here. Get your blood pumping. That's the point. <laughs> That's why I got these things, man. And it's an honor and a privilege to have you in in the car with me today, man. Any time I can spend with you is freaking valuable. Very valuable, and I can't thank you enough for what you do for everybody else, man. You set a great example for everyone else. Well, I'm so proud to serve my country. I mean, that's the truth. I'm proud to serve my country. You know, my dad and my grandfather both served, and this it was something I felt like I needed to do, you know? And then when 9-11 happened, I was like, I'm joining. I didn't care what it took, and I'm just very fortunate that uh, I was allowed to have that opportunity to serve my country, you know? Yeah. And I knew this was gonna come with it. But this isn't something that I, I think a lot of veterans anticipate coming back injured. You know, because when you join the military, a lot of people really more anticipate about maybe losing their life. Yeah. You know, not that you go in and say, oh, I'm gonna lose my life, you know, but it's like the expectation is more of coming back in a box or you come back on your own two feet. So what's the best advice you have for guys following in your footsteps? I can tell you, anybody that, you know, that has served, uh, you know, even if you're having a bad day, it's okay to have a bad day, man. But just know that, that it's a short-term problem, man. Don't use this long-term solution. Suicide is not the answer. There is somebody out there that loves you. And for those of you that might have a veteran in your life that you know might be struggling, something like what Bill does. He, he, he just participating in the community, saying thank you, giving back the best you can, whatever it is. It, it's the small things sometimes that make the biggest difference. And so just saying thank you, like I said, or thank you for your service means so much to us. So, you know, make sure that you're doing that, man. Uh, there are so many programs out there. There are a lot of wonderful programs, just like the Purple Heart Project. Uh, I'm wearing my uh, Patriot Project jacket. Yep. I went into a kind of a natural business and got out of medications and stuff like that as much as possible. That's fantastic. Try to live a very healthy life, mm -hmm. and that's changed me mentally, physically, and emotionally in so many positive ways. So there's a lot I'd love to share, uh, but uh, I really appreciate you allowing me to do that. Are you kidding me, man? It's an honor and a privilege, dude. Anytime I can spend some t personal time with you is, is, is huge for me, uh, number one. Number two, any time that I can spend time with you and thank you for the service that you've given our country, it's freaking awesome. It's the best time of my life, you know? And to be able to give back and to get you in the car, hell, Let's pull over. You need to drive this damn thing. All right. Ah, let's see here. Oh, there you go. This thing is extremely violent. So just know it's like a it's like an angry woman. It's like an angry. Once she does her thing, there's no coming back. See, the good thing about the red eye is unlike the demon, it's got suspension settings to where it's just not set up to go straight. Oh man, this is so not so smooth. It's pretty and wild, it isn't it? Barely touching that fuel, man. You can. Oh yeah. The problem is, is that like at 90, it's the same. Okay. So you can step on the throttle about three quarters of the way at 90 and spin the tires in this car. It's terrifying. I mean, I, I've I've gotten sideways, unfortunately, on the 10 way too many times. Oh, well, a lot of the beginners don't, you know, forget about it. They're giving it too much throttle right off the bat. You yep. know, and them not being able to control it. hundred percent. Oh, man. And, the, know, and I think everybody makes that mistake at least once. They, they do, but hopefully people learn from it, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Having a high horsepower car doesn't mean trouble. It's the way that you drive it. You might have to remind me where to turn. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, man. You just keep driving. You just have some fun, man. You forget about turning. I did that one time with a bike, yeah, man, I was like, it was my old bike, yeah. my buddy of mine, he bought it from me, and he hadn't had it very long, and he went blow out through the wall to it, and then that son of a bitch spun out from underneath me, oh, and yeah. I mean, I was like, what? And he goes, oh yeah, I gave it a little tune-up. Everybody, <laughs> everybody on a bike is, uh, it's like, when, have, when, when did you drop your bike? It's like, well, I've never dropped my bike yet, right? You're all, everyone who gets on a motorcycle is going to lay it down eventually. Um, uh, I've been on a lot of bikes, but yeah, man, I, that one, I, 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 look, I did wasn't on it for a couple of weeks, man, and it got out from underneath me. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> That's why the four bikes you got you see sitting in the garage, they sit there. I've driven one in four years. Oh, wow. That's it. 
I grew up on, on motorcycles, and I seen a, believe it or not, I seen a lot of accidents, man. You know, my dad and them, they were kind of wild. They were like oil field guys. Yeah. I'd see them, we were driving down the road, and they'd be passing whiskey bottles back and Jesus forth. Jesus Christ. Like, Good God. Those were the days, weren't they, boys? Wild West, man. I'm telling yeah. you, it was wild West growing up out there. Am I being good and entertaining with you? Hell yeah, dude. Should I be more excited? <laughs> no, man. You you just do you just be you, Shiloh. That's all I want. There's no predetermined set of how you should act. You just be you, man. Let's just have some fun. Hit it. What'd you think, man? Man, this was, it was fun. Uh, really and truly such a thrill. I mean, when I say thrilling, I, I love it. Well, the next time you're here, we'll plan it, and we'll take this damn thing to a drag strip. Oh, hell yeah, man. Okay. Thank you so much. Man. Is that a really deal? You. You, you promise? Yeah, I'm in. I promise. You're good, man. Rock and roll. Dude, this is so much fun, dude. So what a pleasure it was to take a drive with you, man. That was freaking awesome. Woo! Yeah! That was awesome, man. That, that was so awesome! Yeah! You know, I'm as a veteran, I'm always looking for adrenaline. That's adrenaline. Man, thank you so much, brother. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm thanking you, man. Thank you so much for coming today. I, I can't thank you enough. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Goldberg's Garage. If you like what you saw, make sure you comment. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe. For Shiloh and for Goldberg, thanks for tuning in to Goldberg's Garage. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Very, very much. We're out of here. Count to three. Come in. Okay, ready? Shit! I'm locked out! I hope you're filming this. <laughs> I hope you're I hope you film that. <laughs>